Wow. Thanks. Thanks for playing us in, Casper, and uh, thank, you. thank you guys for tuning into this session. We are, I mean, I think we've been uh, quite a few guys who've been waiting for this product. We have had the 2290 as a rack unit for many years. Yeah. No, you also, Casper, will get I've a little bit into it. that. I've used it, yeah. And finally, it's here. It's in our hands in a pedal board format. And today, what we want to do is just to, to have a little chat about it, go through it, play some different presets, try to create some, some new effects. One thing to, to, to keep in mind is that this is actually not just a delay pedal. It's a time-based effect generator. So if you are interested in chorus or flanger, tremolo, different kinds of effects, this machine can do that. This is the right one, yeah. Yeah, because it is, and this also speaks to, to the UI, because when we release, really put off these shades in a bit, you might be a little bit, um, it might seem a little bit daunting, but that's because it is kind of like a, a machine to almost engineer a sound, and uh, we'll try and, and have a go with it. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Absolutely. And first of all, this is Casper uh, Dybdahl, an Hi. artist and producer. Hi. And a uh, phenomenal player, so thank you, thank for, you. For, for joining in today. Thank you for inviting me. I'm happy about it. Good. Yeah, very. Let's put off the shades, and this is for protection, and also because it looks cool. And uh, what else is there to say? And you can put it up there when you tweak. So right off the bat, we are in a preset right now, and uh, there is an editor for the, uh, or there is an app for the pedal, where we will later go through some, some different factory presets. But first of all, we will just try and tweak some sounds directly from the UI. And right now, what you heard is a preset where we have some, some different modulations going on, and which we'll turn off right now and try to create something from the bottom. So we had some pan modulation, which is from side to side, turn that off now, and also some delay modulation, which is now also turned off. Delay modulation is um, changing in, in the, the speed of which we read the delays, and actually also write the delays. Then we'll also go ahead and remove the filters, um, just so that it's a pure signal that we are getting through the, the, the pedal. And now we should have something a little bit more clinical. Yeah, it's just a straight good sounding delay. Yeah, it's just a very like high, high fidelity delay. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a digital, great sounding delay. Yeah, and it, that's actually a funny thing because <clears throat> back when this, the original unit came out yeah, in, yeah. in the 80s, yeah. 85, I believe, yeah. it was a word to say a digital delay, yeah. dynamic digital delay. Yeah. As a good thing because yeah. well now it doesn't sound muddy and no no you know like now you can actually control it. It was a new thing. Yeah. Yeah. So so right off the bat it is sounding digital, but because the controls yeah. you can actually decide to you can bring make whatever in. you want. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that's why also to this day we put on that this is a digital delay and we stand by it mm -hmm. because this is actually what you want if you want to achieve what is possible with this delay. Yeah. All right, and as you said, it's it's possible to do so many different things with both the original and this one. So it's it's more than just a digital delay. Yeah, very important. Yeah, and I think one of the the, the main selling points back in the day was that it's dynamic, yeah. which is also what's put in there. Yeah, which is good in in, in studio use yeah. and live use too, but but very good in in in, in studio things. Yeah, and, and just to, to put a little bit more words on what that means, it is that you can control how it, uh, almost like a, a gating uh, or a reverse gating yeah. on either the dry or the wet yeah. signal. So yeah. you, can, you can either decide that the delay is only there while you play or after you play. and It will blend in in a natural, but, but in a different way than just a delay going on. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this is one of the, the key things that it's been famous for for so many years. Yeah. And um, we will test that out later. But first, Casper, we just had a brief conversation before, and you talked about yeah. the filters, how they were important to you. Yeah, what, one of the things that I remember from the original one is 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 uh, the filters, which is, as you said, as you're telling, a, a very important thing because with the filters you can you can high cut and low cut mm. the delay, mm. 
and make it sound more like an old vintage analog delay. Mm-hmm. It's two different delays in one delay because of of the high and, and low cuts. Yeah. yeah. Should we try and, and, and bring I, I in? I think that um, would that would be nice. Uh, uh, I'll just make a make a note now. And then let's go to the high and and and, and start winding that down a little bit. Yeah. Try again. So now it's just subtle, but what is actually happening is that um, <coughs> this is a low cut filter. Yeah. Oh, sorry, high cut, high cut filter, yeah. and um, but the, the feedback goes through it every time. Yeah, which is sort of similar to what happens in an analog uh, delay exactly. system, right? So, but let's, maybe, maybe you should cut a bit more. Yeah, let's do that. So we will start to hear it even more drastically when you start deteriorating. You can maybe crank up the, the feedback a little bit so it's more clear. Good idea. It's getting darker and darker. It is. Yeah. And we can do the same with the with the low cut. Bring that up to oh, that's maybe too much. Yeah, around. Yeah. So that's but that's still quite a quite a bit because it's up to uh, 800 hertz. Yeah, so but but it works and it's 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 that kind of uh, of of analog sounding thing going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And then then you could say what else would define analog would be maybe some of the shifts happening. Yeah. In, in like the variance in the, the in, shimmering in the delay. Yeah. yeah because yeah. that that happens naturally on 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 a lot of these old BBD chips. Yeah. Um, but. But we can synthesize that yeah. by changing the speed at which it both writes and reads on yeah. the delay line. Yeah. And um, let's turn that on. Um, and so, so basically, I'm not going to explain every detail of the UI on the way, but but rather show it. But basically, what we did before was over in the feedback section, and now we're moving over to the delay section. And here we can, of course, we can set the delay time. A little hack is to, if you want it faster, you hold it down, and then it it goes in faster steps. Um, let's go back to the around the 600 mark. Then, from here, we can turn on the modulation. And right now, the the delay modulation, we have the modulation section over here, where you can where you can control the different modulations that is possible. One is the delay. One is the panning and one is the dynamics. Mm -hmm. and right now, we're still talking only about the delay modulation. So we selected the waveform as sine. And that has a speed right now yeah. of 3 hertz. Yeah. And it has a depth of 65. So, and that's up to 100. So how, how, how wide it will, it will move and yeah, exactly. vary in the, the, the speed, right? Yeah. So let's make it a little bit extreme in the beginning. And maybe a little bit fast as well. I'm trying to. There is actually a secret where you can go even further. Okay. Um, and that is if you put in deep modulation. Try again now. Yeah. And now it goes into crazy territory. Yeah. And this is because, and depending on how long the delay time is, yeah. you have more time between the dry signal and the delay. Yeah. And you don't want to use that entire range no. because then you get sounds like this. Yeah. So normally this is hidden. Yeah. But this was one of the special functions you can call in on the original unit. Yeah. Uh, which can, if you're not careful, it would be sound like this. Yeah. You just hear it there. Yeah. But you can use it for some crazy effects if you want. Yeah. Now we are back into the sort of the normal range, but yeah. we're still uh, putting it a little bit to the extreme. So we're going to wind it down a little bit. And then at the same time, we're going to make it a little bit slower. Yeah. Let's say around. Yeah, 1.5 hertz. Just a little bit of a movement. Much more organic. Yeah, it is. It's a good sound. Yeah. Really. Um, yeah, so I don't know, we could we could maybe maybe do some more with make it a little bit wider. Yeah, uh, let's let's try to do that. 
And and then obviously for a pedal like this, this would mean to use that it's a stereo. Um, we can we can now do some panning. So the left right, we can try and move that a little bit. We can do that both with the del delay signal or the the dry signal. Yeah, or both. Yeah. But let's start uh, just doing it with the, the delay signal. So over here, I can turn on the modulation for panning, and it's already set to the delay signal. And this is where I could also se select the direct signal, the dry signal, or both. But let's start at just the delay, and let's see, we go, we select the pan, and then we select what uh, waveform we want to use for it. Let's try random this time. So. It's because the sign is more predictable. Mm -hmm. um, so if we select the sign, it would go more like left, right, left, right. Yeah. Yeah. But with the, the random, it selects a point each time yeah. and goes towards that point. And actually, we can see that on the display. Yeah, yeah. you see the modulation happening over yeah. there. And over here, you see the time being shown, uh, the, the feed, the, the delays being shown. And everything is, is, is just like, Really, really easy to see and hands on on this one, so so it's 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 nice to to see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, and it's easy. Once you understand how to control this pedal, <clears throat> it's nice you have all this information available. Yeah. You have all the buttons that are accessible to you. Yeah. But again, in the beginning, it might seem a little bit daunting. Yeah. But as soon as you get a grasp of how to control this yeah. beast. Yeah, then you got superpowers. And if if you remember the old one, it's just it's like in more intuitive. Yeah. 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 It is. Let's try a little bit with the the panning, and again, let's go a little bit more extreme, and uh, maybe, yeah, maybe even uh, turn on for both the direct and the and the, and the wet. So down a little bit. Now try. So it moves in a little bit of a random pattern. Everything. Yeah. Yeah, might be something if you were to create like some more spacey ambient uh, kind of thing yeah. where you want more like random stuff happening. Yeah, I could see this working with like an ambient reverb pedal before it or something to to make that even wider yeah. and more interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but let's go um, let's go just delay and then a little bit less depth. And I actually like the speed low. I don't know what what you think. Um, I think that's nice too. Mm. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. And it's it's blending extremely good, like the old one. It's just like the the blend between even when it's that high, mm -hmm. it's still very nice uh, 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 sounding delay with the dry signal. Mm -hmm. And even though sometimes we have this much delay on as we have right now, yeah. it can be a little bit, it can be hard to work with sometimes. Yeah. Uh, so it's really important that you you tame it. Uh, mm -hmm. And we did that mm -hmm. by using the high cut filter. Yeah. And um, But we, can, we actually have a trick more, okay. which is the dynamics. Yeah. So we can, while you're playing, yeah. we can either bring in the effect uh, while you are playing to fatten that up and make make some stereo spread while that, yeah. or if you are maybe playing some leads and you want your notes to cut through, yeah. you can decide to have it open up afterwards. Yeah. And uh, so if we turn on the, the dynamic modulation and go to dynamic session, yeah. we put that on the trigger, yeah. Which would then follow the signal going in, yeah. and then uh, depending on if it's in reverse under the dynamic section or mm -hmm. not, that would determine whether it's it's closing while you're playing yeah. or opening uh, while you're playing. Yeah. Uh, let's see, depth twenty five. Yeah, let's let's try this first from here and try. Play. It's build up, builds up. And yeah, maybe nice. just to make it a little bit more usable, I would cut down the feedback. I think that's a good idea. Maybe the, the delay signal. Let's try and make something a little bit more useful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And 
Can you try and maybe play some uh, some lead parts with this? I yeah. think that would. Uh... Yeah. That guitar also is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't interfere while you play your faster oh, parts, right? No, it's yeah. coming afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Still pretty heavy on the feedback here. Also, some of the parameters you have to get used to because it's so wide the pedal. I mean, also the the delay lines you can go up to ten seconds. Yeah. So so that's if you really want to get creative or yeah, use it yeah, more like yeah. to sample stuff. Yeah. So so some of the the, the features you have to like um, find the right ratio yourself. Absolutely. Um, all right, I think, I think maybe what about the, um, um, how would you normally use a delay pedal if you were playing live? I would normally use it as, as we were talking about before, just, just a bit of high cut and a bit of low cut mm -hmm. and a bit of modulation. Maybe a bit of stereo spread, depends on, on what, what kind of gig I'm playing. Mm -hmm. Um, but 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 a good good sounding digital delay with some kind of analog feel too. Yeah. Um, and the most important thing is is actually the blend between the guitar and the delay. Okay. Yeah. Which is which is good in this one. It it you you yeah. I've bought a lot of delays thinking wow it's it sounds good, and afterwards it's just like playing with the delay on. Mm. Like uh, 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 it's it's getting too much. Yeah, yeah. It's like a so subtle art. It's like if, it's, if it's, you it's, hear it too clearly, like a compressor, it's like it ruins it for yeah, you. It's, it's too much. Yeah. It takes over the note. Yeah. 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 Unless you want it, of course, like as an effect, as exactly like an instrument you want uh, to bring like in the edge thing, something. Yeah, like that. Great, uh, great example. Also yeah, using yeah. using the original uh, for, for all this that. time. Yeah. 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 Um, before we move on, uh, it would actually be funny to try and reverse this. Yeah. And now it, 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 it can intrigue a little bit how you play. Maybe I should turn on the drive. And now it will only be there while you play. And then it like removes itself. Yeah. And, and this is an interesting thing to use. And I speak, spoke with some of my, my colleagues about when, when would you actually use this? And some examples could be vocals, yeah. where you, you maybe just wanted to, to almost like a doubling effect, but just spreading it, spreading it a little bit while you're singing. Yeah. But you, as we talked about earlier, you don't want it to be a delay effect. No, no. Uh, so you might even do this and then put a delay on afterwards if you want a delay. But yeah. this is more to just <laughs> spread it out a little yeah. bit, maybe not have as much feedback, but just Use it while you are you are singing, yeah. and then have it cut off immediately after. Exactly. Or if even if you're playing a song with a, with a lot of breaks. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You want it to 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 be wide while you play, yeah, and, and, and have some of while yeah. while you're not playing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh. To the oh. rescue! Oh. We need another guitar. <laughs> that beautiful hex drum. I'm sorry, Casper. Don't worry about that. All right. I could actually just. Actually, I, I think this makes sense on this sound already. Yeah. Um, but it definitely is a different thing than a, a normally how I would use a delay. Yeah. But um, it's, it's it's real nice. Should we talk a little bit about this button over here? The learn. Yeah. And why is it not called tap tempo? Well, this stems from the original unit, as we see over there, which were... The tap tempo wasn't really a thing back then. No. Oh. And um, to this day, we still have the engineer who, who did this uh, here at the site. He's just walking down right yeah. there. Um, and, and they, they decided, well, we have 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. So if you tap once, it'll, it'll start counting up, and once you tap again, now you set the, t the, the delay. Yeah. So it was more like a learn, not yeah. necessarily standing there and tapping. No, no. It was right, uh, maybe, can, can you try and tap it? Oh, it's on the right of it, to the right of it. 
a little bit four buttons to the right where you where you just tap. Then, Learn, uh, yeah. Sorry, there it is. So I tap that, and then you press again. Yeah. And then now you select it. So it's actually just two, two taps, right? Yeah. And um, we wanted to incorporate that into this pedal, but of course today, the way that works is it's not it's different. Now it's tap tempo, yeah. and you use multiple taps. Yeah, yeah. So, but we decided to use the word learn anyway, um, which is nice. And it right, looks right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And right now it's it's flashing red because nothing is attached to it. I could tap all uh, everything I wanted, and I can see the BPMs over there. I can actually even adjust it a little bit in yeah. BPM value. Yeah. But the delay won't change, and so it's still 600. And bec why is that? That's because we have to assign for the delay line uh, that it should be attached to the learn. And now this is cool. We can also do that to the modulations. Yeah. So yeah, you could select like the delay or the panning modulation. Yeah. Select the subdivision and yeah. have, have that going yeah. with, the, with the tab as well. Uh, we can do that. What I do is then I first click. Uh, let's go for the the panning modulation. I would select the speed and then I would click subdiv and I could turn that on. So now the panning, which is a little bit subtle right now, so it might be hard to hear, is is listening to the tap tempo. And you can see it's now it's not red, now it's yellow. And it's changing over here, yeah. the subdivisions. Um, and uh, but still the delay time doesn't change. So what can we do? We can select the delay, or actually if you haven't clicked on the speed or over in the modulation section, it will default to the delay. And we can turn on, and we can actually select dotted yeah. or triplets. Yeah. Um, you are usually... Uh, I usually forward. just... No, yeah. yeah, so just, that would just be... Just use four. Yeah. So now it should be... This is, you know, the... The working musicians uh, go to because yeah, it is. this is my delay now. One, two, three, four. Ah, and then we. And we have the reverse on. Let's close it off. Yeah. Okay. You can do a hard one. Yeah. Exactly. I think we should turn down the feedback a little bit. We wanted to make something usable. And maybe we should turn off. Uh, what do you want to turn off? That one. The random yeah, panning. The, the random. Yeah. The random. Do you thing. want to turn off the panning or just make no, it just, fine? Just make it uh, make it straight. Yeah. yeah. W without. So yeah. Now it's a sign. Yeah. It's close. Yeah. But it's a little bit deep. It is. Um, and we wanted it more subtle because we wanted to to to, to make it a straight, good sounding, yeah. normal. Delay. Try again. Yeah. So now we're back in something really usable, and, and now you actually have the the, the tap tempo. Yeah. Um, and of course, if you really go into detail with this and assign different modulations to this, yeah, you can create weird weird effects happening on your delay in in a more like a synchronized fashion, which is is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and within the app that we'll show later, yeah, you can select if you want this to be a global tap tempo, if you want it to be just for this, uh, uh, these two presets A and B, or if you want it to just be for a single preset, because the pedal is is set up so like it's like you have two presets and then you can bank up and bank down. Uh, so this gives you a little bit more flexibility of how you want to use it in like a live se se setting. Yeah. All right. Good. I think we we have a pretty good good tone here. I uh, think you're, you're, you're right. But what about the dynamics? Would you use that? Is that something for? I've never used it before, but 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 uh, but, but definitely it would be nice to to, to have uh, have that kind of thing in the studio. Mm. Maybe on vocals, as you were talking about. Uh, but if you should make like a Casper Dubdale going playing live, it maybe we. It like, would just be without uh, yeah. the dynamics, yeah. Yeah. Now we are more in that ballpark or something that... that totally. You... Well, maybe we should actually save this preset before moving on then. But yeah, you're, we can you're do happy. that. Yeah. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to select Store, yeah. and now I can select what preset I want to save it to. Yeah. Let's save it to preset 6, Yeah. and on the B, the slot B, and I click Store again. So now and you have your it. preset here. Yeah. 
So when we talk about delay, what we're actually doing is you just take the signal, you take a copy, yeah. and then you move that copy in, in time, yeah. and then you can play that over and over if you want, mm -hmm. but you could also just take that copy and just place it close by, and now it would just you know, be like a, like a quick slap or mm -hmm. like a, a comp filter effect. Yeah. And once you have that comp filter, well, now we can use all these modulation things yeah. to create all sorts of different stuff. And mm. that's what we're digging into now. Yeah. Um, all right. So and now we're on the Casper preset here. So I, I need to turn off some of the stuff here. We need, let's turn off the modulations. Let's go. Um, this was just inverting the feedback. It didn't really matter before. Um, uh, meaning, like face shifting the, uh, the 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 delay signal. Yeah. Let's go. We need the feedback all the way down because we want to first do a comp filter effect. We want to take the delay six, uh, setting all the way down to zero, and then bring it up a little bit. Try and play. Yeah, just a little. So we have a comp filter right now. You can hear it's like a Doppler. Yeah, it is. So, so already now we have another effect which which could use to just widen uh, a mix a little yeah, bit. Yeah, make a stereo spread, yeah. kind of a stereo spread. No, yeah, I mean, right now it's not even we're not panning or anything. Right oh, now okay. we're just laying it on top. All right. Uh, but we could do on that. Yeah. But what we actually want to do is we want to try and create a lush '80s chorus because. That's something that this unit has been used for quite a lot too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are in around, yeah, 40, that could be good, maybe a little bit lower. Um, uh, delay time, you can experiment how you like your chorus. We'll then go and add in some delay modulation and set that to a sign. Let's make it a little bit deep and uh, a low setting. Uh, for a beginning. Try, try this. I mean, we are in that chorus We're realm. In land. It's yeah. a little bit exaggerated. Um, so I would bring that down, maybe even the, the delay signal, bring that down a little bit as well. We could call that a mix, perhaps. Along, yeah, yeah, it is. And what we can do now is we can also invert the the, the delay signal, yeah. phase shift that uh, here, which makes gives a, a better stereo spread for it. And um, so now we start getting into some usable chorus sounds. Yeah, really. Can you try position two? I think that's no the first um, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, what I would like to do now next would be to to put a little bit of panning on uh, the wet signal. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, let's make it a little bit deeper. And for the panning, uh, maybe a little bit faster than the than the rate of the the chorus effect in itself. Yeah, yeah. Try it out. Make an open chord. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me actually want to exaggerate this. It lifts now. Yeah, really. It sort of opens up. Yeah. Um, and and you can. I really encourage to play around with chorus sounds of this. I mean, sometimes when you try and, and you you play with delays, uh, the times, and everything, yeah. sometimes you just hit something that sounds completely magical. Yeah. Um, I would like to to test it up against. Uh, the other quite legendary pedal, that which is the SCF. Yeah, yeah, really. There. Yeah. I mean, both good chorus. But but this one is sounding very good. I, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more... It's more exaggerated yeah, right Yeah, it's now. even even wider. Maybe we, can, maybe we can do something about that. Maybe make this one also more intense. 
Yeah. Stereo chorus, stereo chorus. Yeah, but I both, mean, both good sounding chorus yeah. so units. You really. get that in this pedal as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, high, and in a very high quality. I'm gonna save this to 6A. Yeah, do that. So we have now, and now this is also where you can use it for performance. You have on preset A, you have the chorus, and on here, the delay. So it's almost like a multi-effect in some yeah, way. Yeah, it is. How we can, can do that. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to the chorus, because another thing I would love to show you, Casper, yeah. is we can take the delay section and, 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 uh, and actually make it even faster. Because then we go into a new territory. So now we were at 66, uh, 36 milliseconds. Yeah. We take that, uh, we take that down mm -hmm. to maybe just one, one point four milliseconds. Yeah. And we start to introduce some feedback. Now try and hear what we have. It should be some flangerous. Again. Yeah, it's a flanger. Right, I think we should. Yeah. Do you, do you have anything you would like to to, to try out? I'm 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 the I'm using a lot of vibrato things. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Maybe it could be interesting to hear if that's possible. Vibrato effects and like tremolo and stuff like that is possible because we okay. have because we have these this dynamic dynamic section. Yeah. And we have the delay delay modulation section. Yeah. Because if you just take the delay line and imagine we throw away the, the dry signal yeah. and we just take the delay signal. Yeah. So it's just the pedal talking. Yeah. yeah. And we just take that and use the delay modulation. Yeah. That should create a vibrato. So okay. let's let's try. That's interesting. Um, okay, so we are at a weird place right now, but let's just continue. <laughs> Let's just Start continue from, from, from this <laughs> from this plane here. Yeah, okay. Okay, and what we want to do? So I said we want to keep the we wanted to keep the wet signal. So I'm cutting off the dry signal over here in this output section. Yeah. So now it's only the delay signal. Then what we want to do is we want to turn off this modulation, the pan modulation. We want to keep on the delay modulation. And let's go to that section. We have sine, we have a speed. Yeah. Let's do one hertz. Yeah. And then we have a depth that may be a little bit exaggerated. And I think we have vibrato. No? We don't. Why don't we have vibrato? Uh, what did I do wrong? So, let pen something. Let me just check. Oh, let me turn this off. The panning is off. Yeah. Now everything is center. Delay line. Let me make it a little bit longer. Try again. We're still in flanger land. We're still in flanger land because we still have feedback. Try That's again. why. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now we're there. Now we are more in the the vibrato section. Yeah. Again. Let's dial it down a little bit, the depth, maybe a little bit. Do you want it faster or slower? I think it's good there. Can I turn on some reverb? Yeah, do that. Let's put on a lot of reverb. Quite nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, that doesn't sound like something digital. Absolutely not. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, so so that was kind of uh, vibrato. We take that off. Yeah. Which is. Quite nice to have in, in the same unit yeah. as all the other things. Let's go back and and start from, from this place where we had something actually usable. Yeah. We are on the Casper Dupter live delay preset yeah. and we want to put in some tremolo. 
dynamic on yeah. and before mm -hmm. we had it on the trigger. Um, and as I said, there are several. There's also an envelope where we can sort of create like um, um, a swirl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and play it and we have to reverse that, and then again. So now it comes in. And we can, like, the speed, make it slow for the entry. And a little bit deeper, right. And okay, I know we wanted to talk about tremolo, um, but there's one thing I want to tell, show you. It's, it's one of the secrets, again, in the pedal. Yeah. There's this threshold here, yeah. which is sort of like, when should it engage? Yeah. How much signal do you need before yeah. it either cuts or yeah. opens? Yeah. So if I put this all the way down, it doesn't need that much signal before it'll start to open. And if I turn it the other way around, you need more before it will start to open. So now it's a really rough gate. Yeah. You think? So it's just some of these trick or envelope uh, waveforms. Yeah. Because you can have different guitars or different input signals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to sort of find uh, out where to go with that guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Just because there's no input gain on no, this pedal. No. Uh, so but this is a way to actually uh, control that. Yeah. I diverted here. We went to talk about the tremolo. The tremolo sound. Yeah. Good. And let's make that. Yeah, let's just try. Want me to play? Yeah, yeah. So, we definitely have, we want it faster, right? Yeah. The tremolo. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's make it a little bit less deep. Oh. Sounds extremely nice. Really? Uh, yeah. But we have one more trick in the, in, in the, in the sleep here. Yeah. And that is yeah. that we can alternate this tremolo. Okay, wow. So if I click reverse now, I'll yeah. try again. Yeah. Oh. That's a really useful, big, nice sound. Can you hear how? So the 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 the, the dry signal is 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 um, living its own life. On the, the, own, the one side and yeah. then the wet on the other, and yeah. it's alternating like yeah, that yeah, yeah. instead it's, of before it's, they it's were going just like, like this. Extremely organic. I'm bring in some reverb on the comedy logs. I think that was beautiful playing, Gaspar. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because of the pedal. That, that's actually a thing when, when, when you got something which is inspiring listening to. Mm. You play something which is <laughs> yeah. inspiring for, yeah. for people to listen to. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to, to, to do this with you today. I, I definitely want to save this preset as well. Save it, please. Because we can. <laughs> I put on a 7A, yeah. because we can actually import and export presets. Yeah. Save them, share them with your friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, we can do all that via the app. Yeah. So maybe we should go look a little bit of, on the app before we wrap this video up. I think that's a good idea. Um, yeah. And quite important for people like the younger guys, <laughs> like you and I. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Let me move this shade here. Um, yeah, I mean, actually, I think we did quite good without uh, knowing too much and just playing and that, with, that, the, with the UI. Uh, yeah, that's that's one of the things which is nice. It's it's very easy to use it without mm -hmm, mm -hmm. any apps mm -hmm. or. But now we have the app open. Yeah. And, and now we can okay. see there is 
three presets called No Name. Yeah. We really didn't want to give you the possibility or the burden of having to type the UI on the panel. No. So they are just called No Name. Yeah. Okay. But we can go in and, and name them now. Okay. So great. let's start there. Yeah. And that's uh, so. This one was the the Tremolo or the the Casper Dupdale Tremolo wide yeah. or something like that. Yeah, perfect name. And then we had on 6B, yeah. we had, you know, the, the, the Casper Go Live preset. Yeah. Let's just call it that. Yeah. And then we had a chorus, right? Yeah. Casper Dupleil. Do you have an idea? Yeah, uh, but... 80s party. 80s party. <laughs> I know you've played for a lot of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we have three presets, and they are um, they are they are orange, meaning that these are user presets. Yeah. And we can we can we can save them in our user presets okay, database. Great. Yeah. Um, which so, is on the computer. Which is on the computer. Yeah. Uh, 80s party live. What do I need? The tremolo. And um, then you can see here there's an import presets and export preset function. Okay, great. Um, so I can send them to you yeah. after this session. Yeah. <clears throat> and other than that, you can see the list of all the factory presets. You can always just bring them back if you want. Okay. Uh, maybe we, we remove the preset. Yeah. Uh, let's say we go for these that are numbered. These are actually from the original unit. Okay, great. These presets are taken directly from the original unit. Okay, perfect. And into this pedal. Yeah. Other than that, through the app, you can go into the MIDI section. Okay. And today we didn't bring any MIDI gear, but no. on the original unit, uh, it actually had quite good MIDI implementation, but yeah. everything was SysX data, yeah. which is not really how you don't do that. Things work today. No. No. So we made a completely new MIDI implementation, and it's vast. Yeah. It's, and we can build upon it. I mean, right now there are four different ways you can set, set the delay time via MIDI. Yeah. You have the, the learn, tap tempo button, you can control that directly yeah. with a CC number. Yeah. You have a MIDI clock yeah. both ways. So you, this can be a master and you can control it. Works you, with other units. You have like a traditional, no. you know, like 0 to 127 from the delay time. Yeah, okay. But because it's 10 <clears> seconds <throat> of delay, yeah. the resolution is not good. Okay. So what we ended up putting in is actually a CC for each digit. Okay, wow, smart. So in your door, you can actually type a delay and, and send that out. All right. Yeah. Or, or automate a specific delay time and just... Yeah. yeah. And when we see here in the app, um, there's a long list yeah. of all the, 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 the different ways you can, you can assign stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what's really cool with this list is that it's sort of like a, uh, a one truth because... Before you plugged in the pedal, yeah. this list wasn't populated. So once you hook in the pedal, mm -hmm. the pedal tells the app, this is my MIDI implementation. Yeah, okay. So you can always count on, if the pedal has been updated or something, yeah. this list is updated. Okay, great. Um, and also in here you can map, so a certain preset, say the, um, the preset 6B, uh, your go live preset, yeah. Well, when I open that preset, I wanted to send out a PC message. Okay. Uh, to because maybe I have, say you had like uh, some some like MIDI controllable pedal like a plethora or yeah, maybe a Strymon yeah, yeah. Uh, pedal or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Like you the, could uh, like you could can control that. Yeah. The other way around too. If I receive PC number four, I want to turn on six B, my Casper preset. Yeah. So so there is some versatility there. Yeah. It has, if you go into uh, the settings page, yeah. again, the tap tempo or the learn button, you can assign if you want it to be A, B. Uh, so it's like global only for this board of these two presets. Yeah. If you want it to be only for a preset, or if you want it to be global. Okay. So the learn button would be global across all presets. Yeah. Then there's expression calibration, and you can do that manually or automatically. Yeah. Because this pedal also has an expression input. Yeah. You can select if you want buffered or true bypass. So you have trails or no trails, and yeah. you can factory reset the pedal. Yeah. Just a real quick to go back to the expression pedal. 
there is a preset here called Warm Mod Delay EXP. And some yeah. of the other presets also <laughs> has the EXP name. Okay. If you just want to try real quick and you haven't set up the expression controls, yeah. try one of these. They already set up so you can plug in an expression pedal, like a standard tip to vibra. Yeah, okay. Uh, like a Roland kind of yeah, expression pedal. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I don't know what else to say. I mean, yeah, okay, so actually there is one else to say. When you go in here, say this preset has the warm mod delay expression. Yeah. I can <coughs> select the expression parameter and here we can see what it's controlling. This is very similar to our tone print app uh, where you could assign different uh, knobs. Yeah. And we can see the feedback level is set and the delay level is set. And we have also had a third option, but that's not set. So right now, if, if you use this preset and you toe down the expression pedal, it, it opens up the, the delay, yeah. more feedback and more level. Yeah. This is a way I've been using uh, delays uh, a lot, because yeah. then I can just use one delay yeah. and then how right. much of it do I want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blend it in that and way. with the tap, I can select uh, the, the time, yeah. and then I'm, for me, that's really That's good. enough, yeah. yeah. Um, Most of the time. Yeah. And also, you can right-click and you can go... Well, let's do it on one of yours. Let's do it on a tremolo wide. Right-click and then preset. And here you can see all the parameters that we tweaked. Uh, and there's an info box here up on the top that shows you what it means. So the delay time, this, what, what does the delay time mean and all of this. Yeah, yeah. Um, the delay mod speed just to help you a little bit when you tweak the pedal. Yeah. We don't have a way to change these, uh, these parameters within this screen. Um, so as of now, you're, you're, cr you're creating the presets from the pedal. Yeah. But again, we always open up to suggestions if you, you feel like this is something that you really need, that let's talk about it. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm, I'm thinking like, I think we went through quite a bit on this pedal. We really did. And um, it, we could go more scientifically uh, in it. And if you if you guys want a video where we speak more about even more intricate details, because there are more secrets in this pedal, we can do that. And we can also talk a little bit more about the theory behind delay lines and, and how you create some different effects. So let us know in the comments if you want to geek out even more. Um, yeah, but other than that, I think... Uh, Maybe we should uh, close the show down with... We started out with the delay uh, a factory preset. Yeah. Which was quite nice. We actually took the Shredder Cheese yeah. preset, which is some a preset I made together with uh, Shredder. You know, the long, blondy haired uh, Shredder guy? Yeah, I know him. He's, yeah, you know him. <laughs> and he's a fabulous guitar player. Yeah. But he, he plays too fast, so yeah. of course it was dynamic. Yeah. So in the beginning section, what we did is we took this preset and we removed the dynamic because Casper, even though he's a fabulous player, he doesn't play that fast. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and then we cranked up the delay. Uh, um, I actually want to do one more thing, and it's because I really loved what we did before with the, with the dynamic on the, on the tremolo. Yeah, do that. So I want to do a little bit of that, if, if you allow me. Yeah, do that. And while, while you're doing that, I would one, one thing which is important to say is that a lot of the factory presets is usable. Yeah. And I think that's nice because of a lot of pedals out there got some presets which, is, which mm. is just like, it's a funny thing, but how can I use it? Yeah. But this one is, is sounding good. Yeah, we actually started off with the first board being a, a good general uh, delay with a little bit of yeah. emulation. And then on the B side, it's a nice chorus. Yeah. So you're like already there, can use it for performance. Yeah. yeah, the two most important things. Yeah, I mean, at least for, for guys like you and me, I yeah. think that's what we would probably use it for. You're yeah. yeah. right, you're yeah. right. All right, let's try and hear this one. It's a little bit too aggressive, maybe, this one. All right. Casper, can you play us out? I'll do my best. Yeah. 
Thank Sounds you so much. Sounds so good. That's a wrap. And um, yeah, that's a wrap. And you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And again, I encourage you to leave a comment and uh, tell us what you want next. Because of course, we're here for you guys and we want to create products with you. We want to talk here. So let us know. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.